Making Life Broadcasts, journalism students from a primary school in South Sudan's capital, Juba, highlighted the plight of the country's women at an event held to mark the International Women's Day. A tinge of somberness betrayed their dash of humor as their voices echoed across the full auditorium, showcasing actual situations South Sudanese women have to deal with on a daily basis. With music and dance marking the day, women and men alike joined other performers in a colorful celebration in honor of South Sudanese women. Speaking at the day-long event, speaker after speaker paid tribute to South Sudan's women, highlighting the urgency and the crucial need to transform the lives of rural women and girls in the country. Speakers expressed their exhaustion in the country's conflict, saying it was time to press for progress, as highlighted in the day's global theme. Their pleas were passionate. Women of South Sudan are saying urgently they want a conflict to end. The message of women of South Sudan, they are saying time is now to silence the guns in South Sudan. The women of South Sudan are saying time is now to restore peace in South Sudan. Women of South Sudan are saying, time is now to return our children and women in refugee camp and in the women's camp. Leading the call for progress in the country, the first vice president rallied on the need to develop the role of marginalized women. As we celebrate International Women's Day, we should ponder on how how women's role can be enhanced in peacemaking, in peacemaking process in the Republic of South Sudan, both as a peacemaker and a peace builder. How women's participation in the political arena and other sphere of leadership is supported. Acknowledging the strength and resilience of the country's women, while at the same time announcing the launch of a national essay competition aimed at advocating for the importance of women and girls in South Sudan's peace process, the Special Representative of the UN Secretary General for South Sudan said women are the backbone of the country and can contribute to ending war and building durable peace. The women and girls in these areas that have suffered so much from the conflict, many have lost their lives, many have been targeted by violence, particularly sexual violence, millions have been displaced from their homes, and many have been forced into early or even unwanted marriage. They denied adequate access to food and clean water, health care, and most, of, most importantly, perhaps, as many people have said today, educational opportunities. It is the girls and women of this country who bear the greatest burden in conflict. At the event, a cross-section of women entrepreneurs who are being supported by different non-governmental organizations and the government took the chance to exhibit and sell some of their wares.